Yo, what is up? What's been happening? Welcome back to another special episode of Those Car Dudes. We are back at Bradley's house. Hello, Brad. Hey. Hey, and uh, I know it's been a long time coming, but we are finally putting the manual box in the track car, and uh, we're gonna see how that goes tonight. So hopefully we'll get it all done, and she'll be a manual 328. She hey. will. Tell me what happened. We jacked up the car successfully. So, uh, Brad came home today, and he found out that his gearbox wasn't bolted in properly, so it just fell out. So we found the problem for the M3, <laughs> M3 and uh, I think we know how to fix it. Whoa, OGBs? No. Realistically, how many horsepower does this add to your car? 37. 37. I know it off by heart. Nathan, what's happening? So, as you can see, we've got this big, ugly donut thing here called um, a torque converter. This is the thing that sucks Yo, all your power. It's a power sponge. Yeah, it hates it's fun on the road. <laughs> What is it? A spider? It's a daddy long legs. I'm out. No, I'm out. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm gone home. It's gone. Nah, bro. I'm done. It's dead. I'm done. I can't do spiders. Please, bro. That's no bug I've ever seen before in my life. Is it a spider? No. Oh, my. Dude, it's like a centipede, but black and evil looking. Poison. Hang on, I'm just squishing it with the sump. I mean, the. This. Auto bit. Oh, I can't kill it! It's too tough! That's scary. Oh man, I feel like such a murderer, but it's such a scary looking bug, I had to kill it. Oh gosh! Wow. It's alright, I killed it. Oh, here it is! Oh! Oh! We've put the torque converter on the manual box. <laughs> hey Josh, how do you find a 22? In a toolbox. <laughs> that looks like it's that. impossible, mate. Yeah. Process of elimination, yeah. I suppose. You've got a guess, eh? You just got size 30. Oh, that's close enough. Way off. 30's right. good, eh? Come at me, Brad. Ah. Oh my gosh, he's stronger than both of me and yeah. 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 Your foot is oh. so warm, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lying on top of it. We've basically put this 22 mil spanner on the crank and we're holding the bottom of it with a crowbar. Next one. Here we go. <laughs> one, two, three, four. You holding? Yeah. Yep. Oh. Oh. Doesn't matter how you do it, eh? As long as you do it. Well, the job is done. <laughs> so there are heaps of spiders under the car, hence why everyone else is uh, under the car and I am outside the car. Can't deal with spiders. I hate spiders. Okay, that's all of them. JD, oh, got it out. could Don't you worry. please fetch me the orange Zito impact driver? Sure can, bro. Thanks. Thanks, bro. I got you, G. Don't worry, bro, I've got it. Alright, butcher. Yeah. Fresh battery, JD. A wild JD appears. Oh, wow. Hey! Has anyone lost their head? Illuminati confirmed. Oh, it's up! Yes. It's up! Wow. Here it is. All the auto stuff is off the car. What we want to do now is we want to start putting on the good stuff, which is the manual stuff. So right now we're installing the hard lines. Uh, that would be connecting the master to the slave. Is this turbo? Or do you have to use a paddle? <laughs> <laughs> no, but with the R33 over there. <laughs> then you do, yes. Hey Nathan. Yeah. Do you want a very good handy thing to have? What's that? Ken Block. He's a great guy. Really he drifts around him, a bit. Supports the load. He does. He does. He's such a supportive friend. <laughs> he carries a lot, doesn't he? <laughs> He's pretty hard though, so I reckon he can handle it. <laughs> I wouldn't. Ah! I wouldn't. <laughs> Here's a yeah. bit of a plan, can't you? <laughs> 
<laughs> Good old Ken Block. Look at Ken Block planking again. <laughs> Bringing back the craze. This here is the single mass flywheel and clutch and pressure plate that came out of Brad's M3 that you would have seen if you watched our older video of us changing the clutch on the M3. Now the reason why we took this out of the M3 is because the M3 is supposed to be a street car and uh, this is quite noisy. Single mass flywheels do rattle quite a bit. So we're gonna put this in the track car instead and put a normal uh, pressure plate and flywheel and clutch inside the M3. Great news. What? I think they got it in. <gasps> I think they got it in, bro. Is the hard line in? Is the hard line in? Oh, it's hard lines. Long gone, mate. It's these stupid heater core hoses, eh? So I'm just putting a little bit of grease on the shaft here because the clutch disc has um, got to go on here and it's got to be able to slide along like that. So if you don't grease it, there's the chance of it binding. So yeah. Good call, Brad. Well, we're just converting this car into a stick shift now. Brad, I'm feeding it up. The stick shift. <laughs> you got it? <laughs> We're just talking up the flywheel bolts, which is going to be sick. I'm on my way. Oh, what's that, Brad? At of country I'm just waiting for JD to finish his episode. <laughs> <laughs> that there is Bradley's face. Yo, alright, so we just took a break to have some dinner and we're back at it again. We're just going to chuck the clutch disc in and after that we're going to put the pressure plate on and the gearbox, so... Pay honor where honor is due. Where's the honor due? Ken Block, you've done us well tonight, mate. Shop, bro. A true trooper. What a legend. Yo, it has been a couple of days since the last footage that you just saw, and uh, we ran into a couple of issues the other night. We were really tired, so we decided to call it and uh, start afresh today. Isn't that right, Brad? Yep. That's right. And what are we going to be doing? Uh, we're probably going to pull the box off again because. Um, it wasn't, we couldn't quite close the gap between the motor and the bell housing, so not quite sure why that is, so we'll pull it off and see what's going on and um, retry and see how that goes. Little bit of a tip for you guys, get yourself a Ken Block and uh, wedge in between the sway bar and the bottom of the motor, and what that'll do, Brad, hey Brad, hey. it'll uh, angle it down like this, and then you'll be, the whole engine, and then you'll be able to put the box, slide the box on, much easier and get to the top of the bell housing bolts which are it always... It just means that it doesn't interfere with the tunnel. It won't work um, with any old block, it has to be a Ken block. We Yuck. have got the box in. Yuck. It's up there, it's got three bell housing bolts in it officially. So we're just going to finish putting the bell housing bolts in. We're going to put the starter motor on. I'm the putting the slave, slave on now. Cylinder. And then we can start with um, the cross member bolts, the drive shaft, and shifter linkage, shifter linkage before drive shaft, and then exhaust. Bleed it up, and then it'll be a manual car. The reason why we had so much trouble in the first place trying to get the box on was that the uh, clutch disc and the spigot bearing weren't lining up um, correctly because our alignment tool was skewed, and that was making the box go all skew as well. You know what I'm stoked about? What's that? The hydraulic lines are officially in. I like your sunnies, bro. Shop, bro. No worries. Could you pass me a spanner, plus? Can you stop? <laughs> so on your automatic, you've got this uh, brake fluid reservoir, 
and um, this nipple over here is currently blocked off because there's no master cylinder that it needs to feed however since we're manual converting it we'll need to snip this uh, blocked end off here so that it can feed um, down this pipe into the master cylinder and through the hard line to the slave yep. Done. Nice, mate. Easy peasy. High five. Oh, 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 I see it. Oh. We've been making some good progress on the box, which is really, really exciting. After quite a few problems, haven't we, Brad? Yeah, we have. And uh, we're pretty hyped about it. Now, JD just called me, and uh, I actually missed his call. So I'm going to give him a call back, and we're going to pretend that things have just gone totally pear-shaped, and we're going to have to pull the motor out, and it, it's, just a, it's just a big big mess here and and we don't know what to do so um we're gonna tell him that it's a total shambles and that he needs to come around and give us a hand and we're gonna see how how he reacts to that yo hey bro how's it going it's so oh. um bro um yo. so we've had a few problems with the car um oh. i don't know i don't know if you want to come around or not um we basically had to start had to start ma taking the motor out because um it's it's just too much of a mache like why are you taking the motor out it's just gonna be easier we're just gonna take the motor out put the what? box on drop it all in at once are you serious yeah bro it's been an absolute mache bro where's this bolt now honestly I left it in the thing, in the container. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, so feel free to come hands. around if you want, bro. Like, we'll need, like, extra hands probably, eh? Oh, my gosh. Dude, that's like exhausting just thinking about that. Sometimes cars go like that. <laughs> that's so unfortunate. Yeah, it sucks. So why, why doesn't the box part? You know what? I'm just going to come. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, sweet. See you soon, bro. See you, bro. Bye. Bye. What do you reckon JD's going to say when he gets here? Um... I reckon he'll be like quietly mad but also happy. He's probably gonna expect that we've got the engine like halfway out or something. Hard out. <laughs> <laughs> like text him, don't worry bro, we almost got the engine out. <laughs> 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 he must think we are the most incompetent people. JD has joined us, no that's Brad. JD has joined us and uh, we're about to show him all the madness we've had to go through. Oh man. What do you reckon mate? Um. If you look underneath, you can pretty much see what's going wrong, bro. Just climb under there. The box is in. I don't know what you guys are on about. Unless you chuck the auto back in. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I was not going to remove an engine tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to go home. <laughs> you just gave a moral support, eh? So we have got the gearbox on, the linkage is all done, we're just putting the uh, cross member bolts in, which is awesome. Very, very excited for the manual box, it's going to be an this awesome car. This car is officially manual. We pretty much now just have to put the dry shaft in. Yippee! Nathan is very excited because it's all coming together, isn't it Nathan? That is right! I now pronounce this car manual. You can't eat that one. Basically, we're trying to line up the output shaft into the drive shaft. Alrighty, so we haven't managed to get the drive shaft on because um, it's got a universal joint over here, and in the current position that it's at, it's impossible to push up the carrier bearing. So we'd have to jack it up and move the wheels and it is getting late so we'll do that another day but that is literally a 15 minute job so and also we it's don't pretty have, much done we don't have any jack stands for the back wheels to jack them up anyway so we don't have a choice we've only got these two jack stands because all the others are being used at the moment but i think we did really well we've pretty much completed the manual conversion um, hopefully in the next video on this car you will see it running which will be very exciting Yo, so it's pretty much all done. The gearbox is in. We just need to bleed the slave and do the drive shaft, but it's a manual. It's got three pedals and a gear stick. JD's stoked with it, as you can see on his face. Very happy. Very, very happy. Very, very happy. Manual. Um, 
I'm hoping that we will have this on the road soon and we still have quite a few more things in store for the track car so we're very very excited about that but thank you so much for watching make sure you leave a comment what you thought about this video let us know what you want to see on the track car and uh, like subscribe share do what you need to do like us on Instagram follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one peace out peace out Line for the brake line. What? I see. What? Oh, still. Oh, perfect. Perfect. You look like a monkey, bro. Harambe! <laughs> 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 <laughs>